Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is John and this is your Modern Tech Breakdown. Today I've got an interesting story for sysadmins out there pertaining to a potential vulnerability in a commonly used tool. Let's jump into it. So a well-known blogger named Rachel by the Bay has posted some interesting results when using a widely used process monitoring tool called ATOP. If you're not familiar, ATOP is a variant of the top command, which is basically a task manager for Linux and other Unix-like environments. TOP stands for Table of Processes, and ATOP is a particular variant of that family of commands. There's also HTOP and others. The top commands are particularly useful for system administrators to understand what is or is not running on a machine and to help diagnose issues. And it seems that the ATOP variant of the top command may have some vulnerabilities. Rachel by the Bay has been a little bit cryptic about the issue, but here's the key finding. Here in her post on this issue, she illustrates that if a certain process is running while ATOP is called, it can cause ATOP to fail with memory corruption issues. This isn't good as running a program should not be able to make ATOP do this and these sorts of memory problems can lead to malicious code execution vulnerabilities. And to make matters worse, many systems rely on ATOP to run periodically to log details about the running system. So while there are no known exploits of ATOP, if I were in charge of an environment running ATOP, I would switch to an alternative now out of an abundance of caution. And I just want to say it's really unfortunate that Rachel by the Bay has gotten a little bit of flack for being a little sparse on the details of this subject. It really doesn't bother me personally. I know there's a lot of discussion and debate about how to ethically disclose security vulnerabilities, but it seems like it should be easy for most users to switch to a different variant of top. So I'm not really going to get that upset about it. And there's actually not a known zero day exploit in the wild for this. So just a quick PSA out there for folks. If you're running a top, I would strongly consider making a switch. With that, I'll leave this one here. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.